Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Mix Live. My name is Mike Langford. I'm an engineer, producer, and mixer based out of Toronto, Canada. Here on Let's Mix Live, we are opening up some Pro Tools sessions or just multi-track sessions and doing a little bit of a live mix example, um, not of what you should do, but what you could do. So again, there's 101 different ways you can make something sound good. So if you're curious about mixing, if you're curious about production, if you're curious about some of the things that mixers end up doing these days to improve the sound of something and or just make things better um that's why we're here if you have questions let me know if you're just here to observe that's cool too uh the song that we've been working on it's a kind of alt country folk rock track uh by a band called the long wait the song is called back home to blue um last time last uh we're here Mondays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and, of course, Thursdays at noon. Um, last time we were here, I'm just going to go ahead and just open this right back up. Last time we were here, uh, we just we ended up looking at what we had to work with as far as the tracks, renaming, um, getting some subgroups together, um, just, just organizational things, and did a quick, kind of a quick and dirty... Um, compression and EQ of, of some of the tracks just so we could kind of bl uh, block things in uh, a little bit but we also ended up uh, throwing some uh, triggers in for a kick and snare um, and also the cross stick that was there as well cross stick for those that are not sure what that is uh, you're playing on the snare drum but you have your stick kind of laid down on the side of it it kind of makes a little bit of clicky clacky sound um, so we ended up throwing a sample on that as well we got our samples like our triggers from the actual track we just cut around it um, and then for our kick and snare we were using slate's uh, trigger or trigger too if you want to be very precise about it so that's where we got to on this last time um, i'm gonna listen through i think i remember what i want well i have my notes I have notes from last time. Um, I wanted to get to the vocals. There's some prep I wanted to do there. And there's a couple spots with the drums I wanted to iron out a little bit. The song was not to a click. It's like to a, a metronome. It starts out on a metronome uh, for like the first couple bars. And then it slows down a little bit right out of the gate. And then it kind of maintains that through a good chunk of the song. But it's not the same as being lockstep with the metronome. I do highly recommend um, to play to a click and, and to stick to it. Don't use it as like, oh, it's just kind of a reference. Either you're on, you're either playing to the metronome or you're not. Either playing to the click or you're not. Uh, so two bars in, it's not really saying that it's playing to metronome. So um, just a couple of disclaimers. Um, only thing I've done since last time, I'm just going to go and turn my comfort music down. The uh, only thing I've done since last time is I brought back our one kilohertz test tones. A uh, warning slash disclaimer. Uh, if you are listening to this on headphones or on your speakers at your studio or your line array because you have a PA in your basement, you know who you are. Um, just be mindful of your levels. When I am doing some sweeping around frequencies when we're EQing and whatnot, um, I just want to make sure you know in advance in case something uh, is blasting out at you and it might be kind of loud. Uh, so be mindful of your levels at home also with your headphone levels if you're listening there as well. And I think I think that's about it since then. I'm just going to check one more time with the one kilohertz test tone. Everyone loves it. Again, my levels look pretty good. I'm just... It looks good to me. I have, uh, anyone that's curious, I have my Pro Tools running through a mixer, my microphone's through a mixer as well. It's how I'm able to kind of put everything together here. So, Also, I've had a uh, request. I've had a request um, how, because um, of some of the, the keyboard shortcuts um, on Pro Tools, make sure that this edit keyboard focus, um, this little button up here is selected. Make sure it's orange. Orange or gold. It depends on if it's one of those blue, there's a, uh, those dress things, what color is it? Um, but yeah, it's either orange or blue there. So um, I do, what was I going to say? Oh, um, we're talking about some, there were some quests to, to like name more of the hotkeys I'm using. Um, there's a plugin I can get. I just got to figure out how to get it 
happen. So when I'm hitting keys, you can actually see on a little browser window uh, or overlay, you can see the keys I'm hitting. Because I'll be honest, I mash the keyboard a lot uh, when I'm when I'm working in Pro Tools. And uh, often, like even when I'm teaching at school and stuff, um, I have to be mindful of, like I kind of have to touch the keyboard sometimes to remember what the hotkeys are because I often don't remember what they actually are. I just know where they are on the keyboard sort of thing. And there's a couple hotkeys where I don't even know where they are up in the menu. Uh, as far as like the the manual way to go up and, and find some of those uh, those things. So uh, I'll do my best to name some of the things that I'm doing often here. I'm going to have a listen through and I'm going to make some more notes. Highly recommend when you're making notes to go the old fashioned way and just write it down pen and paper. It'll keep you from fussing with the mix when you're trying to listen through and uh, figure out what's going on. So without further ado, it's uh, back home to blue by the long wait it's part two of this <laughs> all right here we go oh we we added if you look at the bottom here too we added those uh those stick clicks in there there was only two before i think so we added four just just because we could the shadows of this truck on humid highways the morning sun behind me bows in ever westward glow the many rows of corn blur on the downside of the blue hill i think it's always been this way and i guess it always will Easy river flow last time in winter. Oh, but this morning burns a Memphis summer glow. I'm coming back across, I always notice subtle graces. And the Mississippi River sets the tempo and the pace. I'm going far. Since makes the heart grow fonder, I would reckon These little journeys do their parts to work for all of us Cause when you leave the summer drips from green and dusty aspens And then they shimmer golden when you come back in
It's always been this way And I guess it always will All right, so first listen through of the day. I haven't listened to anything else I've been dealing with. I'm not dealing with it in a bad way, but it's one of those things where you're, you're working on bookkeeping and financials and emails and stuff in the morning. And it's just sometimes it's just a couple hours can go by pretty quick. So that's the first thing I've listened through this morning. Um, made my notes. Not with a Sharpie. I'll keep making that joke as long as people keep listening. Um, so uh, what I wrote down, so prep the vocals. Prepping vocals for me is tuning timing. Um, and again, it's very normal to do that. Don't think that, oh, the singer could have been better. As long as the emotion is there, the delivery is there. We're just putting a dusting on there. I refer to it as hair and makeup for photos, which is good. And that's that's coming from me. Um, de esser in the vocals. I don't always throw a de esser on my vocals. I know that probably sounds a little bit weird. Sometimes I put it right on the actual um, subgroup for vocals just to kind of pull it back a little bit overall. Um, but the lead vocal, I think, could use a little touch of that. But we'll see. I'll try it out on the, uh, the main mix bus first. Not main mix bus, but the uh, main um, vocal bus first subgroup. Um, still want to work on the snare sound a little bit. I talked about maybe triggering the toms as well. We don't have a tom mic um, on, uh, in case you're wondering, uh, command equals, that's how we flip back and forth in our mix and edit window. Um, we don't have a tom mic here for, I think there's two toms. It sounds like the rack tom and a floor tom. So well, there's ways we can get in there and trigger those. So I might actually go ahead and, and do that just to show that we can scrub through the track and find those um bass amp bass isn't bugging me as much as there's a lot of stuff going on in there um a lot of little bit of movement darren's here's going darren there's a lot of movement uh going on with the bass i want to see if we need to pay attention to that i feel like we're leaning on the acoustic guitar a lot in this song acoustic guitar and vocal and then everything else needs to support it uh so i might mess around with the bass amp sound a little bit more depending on what time it is. Uh, guitar solos, I feel like there's two different guitar players playing and maybe that's why they got staircased like this. That's what I refer to this as staircasing. Whether we're going down in the basement or we're going up to the second floor, uh, it doesn't matter. Um, it just feels like there's two different players here possibly. So that might be a reason why they separated those on two different tracks. Um, if you have one kind of guitar part and you're putting it on different tracks, I highly recommend just for everyone's sanity. Um, just move them onto one track and just sew them up in between. It's a little, it's just, you're going to save some tracks to do that. And yeah. Um, on the far away in the vocal, uh, I think we're about here. Far away. There's that gap there. We can probably put a vocal throw there. So we can probably put a delay just grabbing away, uh, sorry, grabbing away or the word away and just kind of filling in that gap there. Um, that'll give it a little bit more movement. Uh, like that, and there's a, there's a drum fill over here, I think at 410-ish, 410. Again, we're because we're not on a, an on the click, I'm just using uh, minutes and seconds. Normally, if I'm working on music, I'm using bars and beats, but because we're not really on a tempo click metronome, um, we're just going to use the minutes and seconds, so I think it was around 410. Trying to hit space bar and hold this giant notepad, too. That. That second one is rushed. But we can go in there and we can iron that out. So there's a couple spots. So we might do a little bit more look at the, uh, might do a little more look. We might look a little bit more at the, the actual drums um, once we decide if we're going to uh, basically trigger the, the toms that are there as well. It also depends on how busy the tom work is. I think there's a build over here. So maybe, well, we can we can get the velocity changes on that. It should be okay. So that's kind of where we're at. It may seem like there's a lot of things to do, but like when you're when you're working on mixes, and again, the approach for what we're trying to do on this channel, um, the approach we're, we're getting it as a mixer, and it's like, what would you fix? What would you, you know, potentially look at to make things sound better? But really when it gets down to your mixes, I'm of the thought that you're, if there's vocals, your vocal is 51% of your track. You can have the greatest, most hype, fire, amazing track ever. Um, but if there's a vocal on it, that's where a lot of the attention's going to go. Even if 
um, you know, the dance track, urban track, or whatever. If there's a, even a little hook in there that's got vocal, it's that's usually where the ear's gonna go. So um, make sure that's good, and then make sure your drums are good, and then everything else just kind of fills in all the in between sort of thing. So, so I do spend some time on the vocals. I have jokingly wrote down add tam uh, tambourine, add shakers. Um, well, not add tambourine. I just said add tam because I I actually never remember how to spell tambourine. It's up there with with guarantee. Uh, the words I don't know how to spell. Um, so I mentioned those two because if if I was doing this, doing this, I'm of the thought ask for uh, ask forgiveness, not uh, permission. So if I was working on this, we get to the chorus, I'd probably add a shaker and tambourine, see if anyone notices or says anything, because that little bit of high frequency energy can help the chorus open up quite a bit. So I like to have those. I will just add them in if I if I was working working on it. It only takes a second, and even. Um, even when it comes to choruses, when we have uh, have the tempo sorted out, um, there's a couple programs where we can just kind of use MIDI to just quickly throw that stuff in. Um, because we're not on a tempo here, I would go through and actually just play them in quickly. And it can still, still sound pretty live. Just play to the drums. That's the only thing that I would say. Make sure your drums are, are where they should be. And then if you're adding your percussion after, just play to your drums. It's going to sound good. And if you can, I know this is turning into tambourine talk. That's actually, that's a whole other whole other thing. Um, I'll just turn to tambourine talk, but uh, don't, I would recommend to not put accents in, just let it be smooth, because you can put your accents in with other samples, and I know it may sound like there's a lot extra work there, but um, it's nice to not have extreme accents with your, uh, with your percussion stuff when you're mixing it. You just want it as a little bit of, little bit of rhythmic glue, uh, so when you have the accents and stuff in there, it can be a bit of a thing. Anyways, okay, where are we going to start off here? So the most important thing that I would want to get to is to the vocals. So let's start there. It's a new day. Save as. And we'll just call this mix prep too. Um, I have a hotkey too for save as. So um, I've got it set for shift command S. So I can save pretty quickly. And I, and I highly recommend when you get to the mixing stage um, to just save often, save different versions often. Um, also, I think I have, I'm just going to check this too for preferences and operation. And so I do have this set to every minute for backups. Uh, for the last 30 minutes. So should something happen, it's going to go ahead and get it. So sometimes you'll see Pro Tools kind of spin in the wheel for a second. I do think that is it actually saving in the background. So, all right. So we have our vocals here. We've cleaned them up. Um, again, this is for my own sanity. We could have all of this as full tracks like that, but it does, it, it bugs me. It bugs me seeing all that there. So I go and just kind of clean this all up. You can use Strip Silence. Um, uh, command U to bring up strip silence and just kind of tighten this up. Do the fades. Got rid of some of the breaths that were on some of the background vocals because I'm uh, we're not gonna need them. I've yet to have somebody say, "Can we get the breaths louder on the background vocals?" So we have two lead vocals, lead vocal, and then we have the double right there. Um, because we don't have, and I don't think we need the two vocals. I haven't listened to the release tr track of this. We have the the preview in here. Um, I've I don't. Very rarely would I put the lead vocal and then tuck the uh, the double up underneath it so I could hear both of them. Usually when they're they're prepped, so they're tuned and timed, the one vocal sounds pretty good, and I'd rather use a widener on it. And um, you see some some you know delays and reverbs and stuff to um, to kind of add the depth to it. But what I'm saying is that. If we go through and we prep the, this first one and prep the double, if there's any band-aids we need for the lead, that's where I'm going to go. So that's why I kind of don't lean on this double down here too much. So, all right. Because uh, it was popular last, uh, last time, enough chin wagon. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add Melodyne to all these tracks. How I set things up um, in Pro Tools as well. I like to have the inserts A to E, inserts F to J, and then meters, faders, ins and outs, track color and comments. This makes it so I find like everything fits nicely on my uh, my window here. Um, and again, I highly recommend to just either you're editing or you're mixing. It drives me nuts when I see like windows all kind of willy nilly all over the place. You're, you're doing one or the other. Um, as far as my inserts go, um, again, we try to treat this as a actual console. Um, so I like to leave my first 
inserts module open for Melodyne. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do this in one shot here. So I'm going to hold shift and option. I'm going to click on that one. And I'm going to find Melodyne because I can never remember it is. It's another Melodyne. Now it should put it across all of those tracks. We hold shift and option because we've selected all of those. Um, we've selected all of those vocal tracks there. I'm going to hold shift and option again. And I'm going to click on solo. So now just those tracks are soloed. I'm going to, no, we need, we need to load this all into Melodyne. So I'm going to go ahead and just select all our vocals. And when we were listening through, I probably could have done this, but we can, we can have a little chat for a second. Uh, so Melodyne to load the sim, you need to hit transfer, go to the next one, hit transfer, next one, transfer, next one, transfer, not transfer. You need to hit transfer on each of these. You can't just transfer on one and then drag them over. It does not work. Okay, so we're gonna just load our vocals in. We're gonna solo them as they're going by. Um, so even spots down here, we're just getting a little bit of vocals, but this allows us to just kind of load everything into Melodyne at the same time. So it's gonna hit play. And I'm gonna let it run all the way to the end here. I'm actually gonna turn off uh, uh, loop playback, this right here. So um, we can go over here to options, loop playback. We can also hit shift command L and you can see on the transport under the play button, you can see it switching off and on from loop uh, playback. So I'm gonna turn that off. So when it does, so when it gets to the end, it doesn't go back to the beginning of our selection there. Hit play, we should just hear some vocals. Chase the shadows of this truck on human I'll turn off the effects and stuff after. I just don't wanna disrupt this as it's going. So this is where I, you know, we'd have the hockey game on or Walking Dead or something like that. If you have any questions in the chat, let me know. I understand it is Thursday at noon, at noon 30 for a lot of us in Eastern Standard Time, or I guess 930 on the West Coast right now. I like to do, um, to, to get back to the, the two time slots we have here. So since Monday evening... Um, I'll generally do a lot of prep and editing at that time. So I'm not doing critical listening. So it's kind of end of day for me. Um, that way, when I get to work in the morning, I can do some more critical listening. Cause I find my ears are better in the morning for making some decisions. Um, that being said, I was going to make it, I was going to make a joke at my, my, my own expense, but the idea where some people be like, Oh, your ears are bad anyways, regardless of what time day it is, what time of day it is. But, um, for me, if I'm listening, if I'm doing critical listening, I'm just want to hear the top end of something because I find when the day goes on, um, some of the higher frequencies get kind of dulled down or I guess the, the hearing gets fatigued a little bit, depending on what I've been working on. Um, but a lot of the, the editing stuff, like what we were doing last time, I this might sound weird, but I don't need to listen to a lot of it. Um, you know, if we're, we're laying samples in for drums or if we're just getting, you know, some routing set up and stuff, some stuff that might take an hour or two hours to actually get sorted out, you don't really need to listen that much. Um, so again, I, you know, I have to joke with some of the students when they're just like, oh, you're watching like TV and movies. Like, don't you need to listen to what you're working on? Well, yes and no, but it's, it's not the same as like, if you're trying to mix mix, yeah, it might be a little bit difficult if you have, you know, zombie stuff going on off to the side or you're, you know, waiting for Leafs to see if they're going to, you know, let go of a four goal lead in the last five minutes of a game or something like that. But, but yeah, a lot of the, um, a lot of the editing and stuff, once you get used to looking at waveforms and what you want to do, and it's just routing and just getting things kind of set up. Um, and I mentioned before too, even to some of the editing was just cleaning it up. Uh, some of the, the quiet or not quiet, but some of the silent spots on some of these tracks and whatnot. Um, it's just work that needs to get done usually. So get it done the night before and then when you can get in the next day, you can get to work. Um, even with tuning, if I'm working on an EP or something, if we're working on several songs, I generally will do a lot of the, the prep for vocals in one day. Um, Cause one, it can take a while with some of these songs. Um, I kind of give myself like 20 minutes, half an hour per track. Um, even though that's going to definitely not make sense once we get to some of these tracks down here, like that's not going to take a half an hour to do that, but that might take 45 minutes to do that. We're just going to scrub through quickly on the vocal tracks, but, um, I'll try to put all of my vocal 
editing into one day and that way I can, you know, cry myself to sleep and then wake up the next day and get back to work on on the songs with fresh ears, but also knowing that that stuff's done. And I've mentioned a couple times uh, when we're doing this editing and prep, I, I think of it and there's lots of cooking analogies on the on the program. Um, but I think of it as just getting all the ingredients put into bowls, things measured out. That way, when you are actually cooking, you're not trying to prep and make stuff when things are actually going, which I find slows me down quite a bit. I just want things to be ready to go. So, um, you know, even even if we don't like our bass amp sound, we've got the chain put together. Even if we don't like our, our kick and snare samples, we've still got the chain put together. So that's kind of my... my uh, ideology i guess on that that's the correct word all right so we got this loaded in we have this loaded into melodyne we can see down here a little audio blobs look at that a lot of stuff good singer again this is all totally normal um i feel like i feel like i'm a, a i'm a doctor at the office like, like i'm looking at the x-ray i'm like oh this is totally normal but this part where there's a couple spots where some bones are sticking out, but like we we know we know we can we can get those back where they should be. Um, but no, the vocal track I think uh, was it's strong the emotions there. I love the lyrics in this song too. Um, Mississippi River sets the tempo and the pace. That's such a good line. There's lots of good lines in the song. Got saving. So we've got this loaded. We have this loaded into Pro Tools now. I'm going to unsolo those. I'm going to turn off the groups for my vocals. I'm going to just mute all of these. I'm going to um, to put these in bypass, these uh, these sends here, because again, I don't name my buses, but the nine is short delay, uh, 10's the long delay, and the 11's the reverb. If you want to quickly bypass those or mute those, then you can just hold command and you can mute those. And they turn blue, they're muted. Same with any of these tracks over here as well. Those are all... Those are all linked up. I'm going to go ahead and turn all those off over here too. There we go. So these all look pretty good. I'm just looking at the blobs in the bottom here. You can see just very faint down here just to make sure they loaded something because sometimes they don't. That all looks good. So we'll go back to the main one here. I, so I've um, actually, if you want to fully turn off these, uh, these sends here, we can hold control and command. And click on those and that'll put those into inactive so we know for sure nothing's going to be sending down those oh i need i need to work on the um the actual two bus as well because all we have is just a little uh, little dynamics chain on there uh two bus um because all we did was just put a little uh compressor on here just to kind of Use a little bit as just more metering. Like we're not even really doing anything on that, but we have some balancing to do later um, on this track overall. So we have our main vocal track here. So warning in advance, anybody that's tuning in right now or just dropped into this video, we're going to tune some vocals for probably an hour, I would say. Um, just going to watch watch the viewer count just plummet. Um, okay, so when I'm tuning vocals, we'll bring up Melodyne here. this back up i normally don't do this stuff in headphones either i do recommend if you have speakers to do it on speakers but for for what we're doing if i have speakers on and then microphone and then phasing and then just it's just a bit of a gong show um so what i like to do tuning vocals i'll put pre-roll on let's just put maybe even three seconds we'll see that is um we can click the button over here so you'll see a little flag show up it's very very faint there's a little orange flag that's there i guess i can see it better there um, also you can hit command k that'll turn off and on um, or on and off depending on where you were in life and pro tools um, pre-roll and post-roll so that's just where you're selected here depending on what's on either side of it so if you're doing punch-ins or anything like that i highly recommend play into it play out of it if you're doing punch-ins uh, so that's one of the things with pre-roll but we can also use pre-roll listening that's too much pre-roll for my business right now chase the shadows of this truck on human it's gonna turn that up morning sun behind me bows so we can see our timeline scrolling along with that but what I like to do is so this feature over here or function I guess insertion follows playback so where we are right here Oh, also, uh, this was a question in class the other day. 
Make both of these blue. I don't know entirely. Yeah, so link, uh, link timeline, edit selection, link track, and I just have those blue. So that's all I know. Just make both of those blue. Um, not not Pro Tools certified. I just use it for a living. Um, so we have this, but insertion follows playback. Because when we hit stop, it'll go back here. But when we have this selected, it's going to follow the timeline. And where it stops, this is going to move over. So our new spot that we're starting from. So when we're tuning, I chase the shadows of this truck on. When we're when we're tuning, it'll start from here. But because of we have our because we have our um, pre-roll on, you can go back in time a little bit. And I refer to this as scrubbing through the song, so it makes tuning a little bit easier. Okay, so we're on Melodyne here. the The vocals are like again the the emotion's pretty good. And even just looking at it, like there's a few spots here we can add another break in the, the audio blob here. I have a trackball with a, a bunch of extra buttons on it so I can do a few uh, quick things as far as scrolling around goes. I do highly recommend uh, getting involved with that trackball lifestyle uh, over the conventional mouse. Um, so this looks pretty close. Like a lot of these are on the notes they should be on. Um, so we're just gonna let's just do this this way. We're going to double we're gonna click on here. We'll hit uh, command a this selects everything That's here. I'm just gonna double click one of these and you'll see everything kind of snap I'm just doing undo and redo here. You'll see everything kind of just Just shimmy on down or up to the note that it it's likely supposed to be this will clean up a lot but use your ears because things like over here where that note starts to scoop up that's probably going to come down a bit further. So things like that. That's why I like to scrub through and we can listen for these things. So I'm just going to get working on this here. I might be quiet for a bit. So first for everything. I chase the shadows of this. Chase the shadow. I chase. I chase the shadow. I chase the shadows of this truck. The shadows of the. Chase the shadows of. I chase the shadows. I chase the shadows of the There's a little bit of a phasey thing that's in there, so I was just turning Melodyne off for a second, again putting it in bypass. Chase the shadows. I was just listening if I was hearing it on the track. So they may have dusted over this already with uh, one of several tuning uh, programs, but I chase the I chase I chase I chase the shadows of this truck on humid this truck on those of this truck on those of this truck on shadows of this truck on humid highway truck it's pretty on good of this truck on humid highways on humid highways on humid highways truck on humid highways morning sun morning sun morning sun Morning sun. Just, I always find coming out of phrases, they either scoop down or scoop up. Morning sun behind me. Morning sun. Like the end of sun there, so without. Morning sun. It just goes a little bit flat at the end. It's little things like that that jump out at me. Pro Tools. That was a massive crash. That was a massive Pro Tools crash. I haven't had that happen in a while. All right. Well, let's give us a second here. That was a new one. I'm using an M1 Mac Mini, and I've mentioned before that sometimes it'll crash and just restart. It is hilarious how when we're doing this, how many times we've had Pro Tools crash. Darren's saying safe often. I know. <laughs> I'll get this loaded back up. I'm amazed. I'm amazed at how on the money it's been with Pro Tools crashing because I'll work no problem hours on end. And it's like every time we're doing these Pro Tools crashes. But that's unfortunately with these M1s, it's not on uh, what's the word I'm looking for. It's not out of the question for them to just crash hard and just be like, stop everything. We need to just restart, just straight up restart what we were doing. 
These M1s are fast, though. I'll give them that. But the the actually the issue that I've I've found is um, sometimes if I just have too many drives hooked up, sometimes I'll have three, four, five hard drives hooked up to it, uh, depending on some of the projects, some of the video stuff. But um, that was hilarious. That was a good one. All right, just give us a second to get back here. Anyone that's familiar with Pro Tools totally knows what's up right now. All right, I'm just going to do another restart here. It's already restarted. I just turned this off for a second because who knows what's going to happen. It's the thing about doing these things live. Uh, Darren saying, I really like how it keeps the transients but cleans everything up. Yeah, with Melod Melodyne is like, to me, it's the best. It's hands down the best. That being said, um, in some of the pop world, some of the country world, they still do prefer to use autotune, but in graphical mode, not in stomp it with autotune. Um, reason being, there's kind of a brassy EQ quality that comes from using it. And um, it just kind of sounds right. It just kind of sounds right to some people. So um, do keep that in mind. And I refer to it as genre sensitivity. There's certain things that work in certain genres that people are expecting. Um, like even like to like drum tones for metal and stuff. It's like there's, there's drum tones that are acceptable. And there's ones that don't really work. Just like you wouldn't use metal drum tones for... Um, uh, like for bluegrass or something like that, it it might just not make sense to the listener. So let's just wait in a second for Pro Tools here. I should really put this in the the what's it called the timestamps when Pro Tools is crashing. So far, out of I think five episodes, I know this no this would be. We did three for the first one, four, so seven. So, whoa, well, we're nine in already. Um, but I think we've had a good good crash on like four or five of these. So, um, so far, not sponsored by Avid. <laughs> Maybe in the future. <laughs> I do think it's funny how just when we're doing that, I can work for hours on this stuff. And it's just when we're working here, it seems to a little bit, a little bit crashy. A little crashy. All right. I think we're back here. I think we're back. Turn it back on. There we go. And then we got this. We got that. Okay, we're back. I chase the shadows. All right, so we'll assume that we maybe lost like a minute's worth of work. We still have this all loaded into Melodyne. I'm just gonna check the blobs at the bottom here. Also, sometimes Melodyne will like lose the link. Because this loads into Melodyne, so it's kind of saving a copy of it. Sometimes it'll like lose the link to it, so you need to reload it. But this all looks pretty good. It's gonna hit save again. I'm just gonna save as a new one here, because we can. I chase the shadows of. I chase the shadows of this truck on human. So there's only a couple spots. We made it. A little bit into this. I chase the shadow. I chase the shadow. That needs to come up. I chase. I chase the shadows of this truck on humid highways. Yeah, and that's where we left off. It's deja vu. Grab those. I chase the shadows of this truck on humid highways. The morning sun behind me bows in ever west. Ever that one. I chase the shadows of this truck on humid highways. It's humid kind of drops down there. I chase the shadows of this truck on humid highways. Putting back a uh, morning sun behind me bows. That scoops up, so it goes a little bit sharp there. So with that, with that little scoop up there, so we can change, what's it called? The pitch modulation tool, we can just kind of go with that one. Westward blow, 
the many rows. The this is a good one too. So we start out pretty strong on the note, scoop down, scoop back up, and then it goes sharp. So we can just iron that out a little bit. That whole section here, you can see it dipping down. We can also hear it. Just put a couple of those in. The many rows of corn blur on the downside of the blue hill. Downside of the blue hill. Side of the blue hill. Side of the blue hill. Side of the blue hill. I think it's always been this way, and I've always been this way, and I've always been this way, and I guess I've been this way, and I've always been this way, and I guess it always and I guess it always will. Guess it always will. This one drops down quite a bit, so we can just iron that out. It always will. It always will. So we've not taken the emotion or the delivery out. We can move notes around timing wise as well, but we're just dusting over some of the pitch. So it's going to, it's going to help it. It's going to help the production again. The vocal itself, I thought was pretty strong. So the first verse. I saw this easy rip. I saw this easy rip. I saw this. I saw this easy rip. Saw this easy rip. That seems a bit rushed to me, so I can use the time tool. I saw this easy. I saw this easy. I saw this easy river Saving. flow last time in winter. Oh, butter, oh, that easy. I saw this easy. I saw this easy rip. Saw this easy river. Saw this easy rip. Saw. Th I saw this easy river. I saw this easy river. Buy that. This easy river flow last time in winter. Winter. This easy river flow. So before. Before. I saw this easy river flow. And then after. Easy river. I saw. I saw this easy river flow. So just just ironing out the timing on that just a touch. Totally normal. This easy river flow. This easy river flow last time. River flow last time in winter. Flow last time. River flow last time in winter. Last time in winter. Flow last time in winter. Flow last time in winter. I'm in winter. Time in winter, time in winter, flow last time in winter. Oh, but this morning, oh, but this morning burns a Memphis morning burns a Memphis this morning burns a Memphis summer glow. Memphis summer glow. Memphis. These summer. lyrics, they're they're so good. Wordsmithing. This morning burns a Memphis summer glow. Memphis summer glow. Memphis summer glow. I'm coming back across. I'm coming back. I'm coming back across. I am coming back across. I always back across. I always back across. I always notice subtle gray. Always notice subtle gray. Always notice subtle graces. Same subtle thing, timing. We can probably pull this whole thing over just a touch. Always notice subtle graces. Subtle graces. I always notice subtle graces. In the mist of graces. Subtle graces. In the mist of Something funky going on there. Notice subtle graces. In subtle graces. Notice subtle Subtle 
graces and subtle graces and subtle graces subtle graces and the mississippi river sets the temple ever sets the temple ever sets the Mississippi river sets the temple ever 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 sets the temple and the pace the temple and the pets the temple and the pace temple and the pace temple and the pace i know that's wrong just give me a second and the pace go and the pace go and the pace tempo and the pace go and for the pace ever sets the tempo and sets the tempo and the pace this note here it just sounded weird until we figure out the note before it, the scoop into it pro tools tempo and the pace go and for Pace, going for pace, going for going for the pace, going for the pace, going for and for going for for Bit of stuff going on here, but we talked about this before. There's a little bit of a snap in the the tonality, I guess, of the vocal. That could be an edit. That it could actually be the voice. It it's not out of the question to actually be the voice. Now that I'm thinking about it, more more feels like maybe like dental hygienist work than um, than like doctor surgery stuff. I'm going far, you're just kind of scraping far, away at the teeth, and you're just you're wondering how much additional work might be necessary. But overall, looks good, and all all that blood like it's normal. I'm going far and far. Scoops up quite a bit there. We can just iron that out. It's always good to get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. We're still here in that little little nub over there. We just gotta bring that down. Get away. The better still. The better still to come. Better still. Better still to come, better still to come back home, to come back home, come back home, come back home, back home, come back home, come back home, come back home, buy that. Back home, come back home. Back home to back home back home to blue back home to back home to blue back home to blue back home to blue So just a little bit of nudging in here Back home to blue 
Back home to blue. Home this, to blue. A little Back bit short there. Just stretch that up just a tiny bit. Uh, so we just did this, that whole section there. Let's go to the next chunk here. Oh, if you want to go to the next clip in Pro Tools, just hit tab. If you want to go to the previous edge of the next clip, you can just hit uh, option tab. Yeah. If absence if ab if absence if absence if absence makes the heart if absence makes the heart if absence makes the heart grow fond makes the heart grow if absence makes the heart grow fonder the heart grow fonder makes the heart grow fonder I would wreck grow fonder I would wreck grow fonder I would reckon fonder I would reckon I would reckon der I would reckon der I would wreck grow fonder I would reckon der I would reckon I would reckon der I would reckon it's subtle it's subtle I do wish I had these headphones sooner in life. They're they're pretty good and they're very comfortable to to tune in. I would reckon these little journeys do their part. Little journeys do their parts. Journeys do their little journeys do their parts to work. Do their parts to work. So that the end of parts here, how much that dips down? We can just put a little break in there. We could either use the modulation thing to pull that note back up, or we could just put a break there and pull back up. Little journeys do their parts to work. Do their parts to work. Do their parts to work. Okay, so let's go back to the other. Let's maybe use the modulation tool to pull that up. It's this spot down here. We just want to pull that back up. Journeys do their parts to work. Do their parts to work for all of us to work for that all sounds better to me parts to work for all of parts to work for all of us work for all of us to 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 work for their All right, I I thought I heard like a dog barking or something in the background. I was wondering if um if it was on the vocal track or maybe on the drums or something. But it's just the way that it, it's kind of combining there. Journeys do their parts to work for all of us. Where it says all of, but again, this is just stuff that you hear sometimes. It's not out of the question to hear like traffic noise, animals, children. Work for all of us. Work for all of us. For all of us, cause when you leave us, cause when you leave the sun, cause when you that note to me, it's okay, but if we just push it up a little bit, it just it adds a little bit more power to it for me. Performance wise, it just it's a little us. hair and makeup. Cause when you leave the summer drips from green and dusty, drips from green and dusty aspens, green and dusty aspens. Dusty aspens, dusty aspens, dusty aspens, and then they shimmer gold, and then they shimmer golden wing, shimmer gold, and then they shimmer golden wing, and they shimmer gold, and then they shimmer golden wing. A little bit of, a little bit of funk going on here. Let's break that up. And they shimmer golden and they shimmer golden when you come back golden when you come back golden when you come back in when you come back in when you come back in the fall come back and then they shimmer golden when they shimmer golden when you shimmer golden when you shimmer golden and then they shimmer golden they shimmer golden when they shimmer golden. 
We'll listen to this later. See if it's bugging us later. It's also not uncommon to tune stuff. Pro Tools. It's not uncommon to tune stuff and then kind of listen with fresh ears and make a few more um, a few more nudges here and there. Uh, it's totally normal. It's totally normal to just have a few more spots you need to, to open up and just kind of prep or put a band-aid on stuff. Um, even when I'm tracking vocals, I'll still prep the vocals, especially prep our leads before we start doing our doubles and uh, harmonies and stuff. So we know what we're tracking against. Um, but then we know if we need any band-aids on anything. So we can just just put those in or punch those in when we're tracking the uh, the doubles and harmonies. Going A lot of little spots here where we could probably iron this out. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. I think it's back home to blue. that and then we just have Pro Tools and a little chunk over here. Will, 
buy that. And I guess it always guess it and I guess it always will. Buy that. All right, so that's our full listen, well, full first pass of the lead vocal. So I'm going to listen through, see if there's anything else um, that I want to dust over again. Not too bad, maybe a half hour plus. Well, Pro Tools crashed the beginning, so we don't really count that. But so listening through, if there's anything else I want to nudge around here. I chase the shadows of this truck on humid highways. Morning sun behind me bows in ever westward glow. The many rows of corn blur on the downside of the blue hill. I think it's always been this way, and I guess in this way, and I guess it always will. So pretty good. I saw this easy river flow last time in winter. Oh, but this morning burns a Memphis summer glow. I'm coming back across, I always notice subtle graces. And the Mississippi River sets the tempo and the pace. I'm going far. I'm going far away. Oh, I'm going far, going far. Oh, I'm away. Oh, I'm going far. It sounds like a vocal, like a breath edit there, but we'll just mark that down. We'll look at it after. So two ten. But that was just the sound of like, and I'm talking of this right now. Back home to blue. Back home to blue. Back home to blue. That mouth noise that sounded a little bit like an edit, that's normal too. I go through and just clean that up. Either mute it or just hack it so that it doesn't, you don't hear that break there. Or also sometimes grab another breath somewhere else in the song and just jam that in there um, just to fill the gap and it should be okay. If absence makes the heart grow fonder, I would reckon These little journeys do their parts to work for all of us Cause when you leave the summer drips from green and dusty aspens And then they shimmer golden when you come back in the fall I'm going far Pretty good. I'm marking my own work right now, though. Rows of corn blur on the downside of the blue hill. I think it's always been this way, and I guess it always will. All right, that sounds pretty good. So what we need to do, because all of this is in Melodyne right now, and highly recommend to not leave it in Melodyne, because sometimes it unlinks from the audio and then yeah and then you gotta do it again uh, so what i tend to do we used to have to re-record this track but now we don't have to do that um go into our mix window uh holding command and uh and control i can inactivate those plugins that are there because i just want to take what's in melodyne here and what we can do is we can hold control click on this and go to commit and selected tracks so just our vocals that's there Insert after, source tracks do nothing, hit OK. 
So all this is doing is just rendering this track down with all without the other um, plugins that are there because I don't want to get the sound of you know our blocked in compressor, our EQ and limiter that's slammed on there. Uh, another thing that I, I tend to do just for my own sanity, I'll I'll cut out these spots again here. Just, just you need to little things in life that can bug you. Uh, my naming convention, I go to a uh, new playlist. Or you can duplicate it, that's fine too. Um, so dot C is the comp or whatever we're working with, and then when I put T on there, it's usually for timing or tuning or something like that. If I put a Z on there, it's for uh, any noise reduction we're doing. So we're taking our Melodyne track, we're pasting that over top. We can now inactivate Melodyne and turn back on our compression and EQ chain there, and we can get rid of this. Um, moving on to the next one. So what I'm going to do for this one, because we still have another track to go through, but I'm going to solo these two vocal tracks here, and I'll select the second Melodyne one. I'll go over here. Same thing. Um, Command A on Melodyne to deselect everything. I'll go to our pitch correction, and I'll just give that a little, little, little tippy tap there. That's going to snap everything to where it should be. Now I'm going to listen against the lead vocal here. And what we'll do is just kind of nudge anything that sounds way out because we're just getting a light dusting. Um, you could go through and tune it the same way that we did our first one here. But for what we're doing, I'm just going to do a light tuning on it. So we're just listening to both of those. I chase the shadow. What we can do sometimes too is just kind of pan them left and right a little bit. When we'll the one on the right is the new one. I chase the shadows of this so we can hear that one starts to go a little bit sharp. Pro Tools. So we can just pull this down. This I chase the shadows of this truck on humid highways. The morning sun behind me bows in a behind me bows. The sun behind me bows. The sun behind me bows. In Sun behind me bows in ever westward glow. The many rows of corn blur, the many rows of corn blur on the rows of corn. That's pretty good so far. The many rows of corn blur on the downs of corn blur. The many rows of corn blur on the downside of the blur on the downside blur on the down. Of corn blur on the downside of the blue hill. I think it's always been this way, and I guess it always will. Sounds pretty good. Always will. Always will. Now, the one on that side's a little bit long, so we can just use the time thing. Always will. I'll buy that. I saw this easy I saw this easy I saw this easy river flow last time in winter. Oh, but this morning burns a Memphis morning burns a this morning burns a Memphis summer glow. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Oh, I'm coming back across. A Coming back across, I'm coming back across. I always notice subtle, always notice subtle. Always now, there's a scoop into this one, so we can try to just make that. Back across, I always notice subtle graces, subtle graces, subtle graces, subtle graces. Now, this I think needs to go down a bit further, so we could just. Pace. I'm going for pace. I'm going for 
pace. I'm going for the pace. I'm going for pace. I'm going for I'm going for pace. I'm going for I'm going far away. I'm going far away. Far away. Oh, I'm going far. 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 Going far. It's always good to get. It's always good to get. It's always good to get. It's always good to get away. Hey. Little scoop up there. Hey. Get away. But better still. But better still to come back home. That scoops up a lot. Come back home. To come back home, back home, come back home, come back home, back home, back home, back home, back home to blue, back home to blue, back home, back home. Back home to blue, back home to blue, back home, back home to blue. That sounds pretty good. So we're halfway done that one. So it's a lot quicker. Once you get the first one done, sometimes you can just dust over it, um, the other doubles and, and whatnot. If absence makes the heart grow fonder, I would reckon these little journeys. These little journeys, these little reckon, these little journeys. Gravy Danger's joining us on Twitter. That is a great handle. Uh, so it's uh, easy to see you do this way more often than me. Whenever you tweak the timing, it's just immediately correct. Takes me a lot more steps. I'm I'm guessing. We are all guessing. And sometimes we're just like, it just needs a little bit. And then sometimes it works. And so if it makes me look like I know what I'm doing, let's go for it. But yeah, we're all guessing. I would reckon these little journeys do their parts to work for all of us. Cause when you leave, do their parts to work for all of us. Work for all of us. Cause when you leave, the summer drips from green and dusty aspens. And dusty aspens from green. Cause when you leave the summer trips from grief, the summer trips, leave the summer trips, leave the summer trips from green and dusty trips from green and dusty trips from green and dusty aspens, and that nation ends, and that nation ends, and that nation are golden when you come back in. When you come back golden, when you come back in, 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 when you come back in the fall, I'm going in the fall, I'm going fall, I'm going in the fall, I'm going fall. I'm going far away, far away, far away, far away. I'm going far away, far away, far away, far away. Oh, I'm going far. I'm going far, I'm going far, oh, I'm going far, far, far away, far away, far away, far away, far away, it's always good. 
to get away. Good to get away. Good to get away. Get away. Good to get away. Away. Get away. Get away. Get away. Good to get away. Get away. Get away. Good to get away. Get away. Just something in there. I was curious. This one can probably pull a bit more, but I'm not going to. But better still, but better still to come, but better still to come back home. Graver Danger says, yeah, well, you, the more you guess, the better your guesses get. I would agree. <laughs> Such home. is life. Back home to blue. Maybe that's maybe that's kind of in brackets what experience actually is. It's just like experience. Better guesses. <laughs> Back home to blue. Good. Many rows of corn blur on the downside. Corn blur on the down of corn blur on the downside. Corn blur on the rows of corn blur. Many rows of corn blur on the downside. Blur on the down corn blur on the downside. Blur on the downside. Blur on the downside of the blue hill. I think it's always been this way. Always been this way. Oh, here's it's always been this way. Oh, because it'll slow down here. I think it's always been this way. And I guess it's way. And I guess it always will. Always will. Actually, it wasn't too bad. Yes, it always will. Sometimes when you slow down at the end, it can be a bit of a thing trying to match it up. But we can do it manually using Melodyne, but also I highly recommend, uh, could be a time saver for some of us when we're trying to tighten up lots of vocals, uh, Vocaline. Vocaline can get stuff pretty tight. Uh, listen through this just because it's a lead again. We're just... I chase the shadows I'll be quiet. this truck on humid highways. The morning sun behind me bows in ever westward glow. The many rows of corn blur on the downside of the blue hill. I think it's always been this way, and I guess it always will. Uh, Grave Danger said, yeah, I saw Vocline Revoice and thought the exact same thing, uh, but I'm a hobbyist, so it's not really work. Well... If you can always wait for deals, always wait for sales. If you want any plugins or anything, um, you can usually find a pretty good discount or leave it in your cart. And sometimes the internet will be like, hey, you left something in here. Here's an extra 10% off. I haven't any, any luck with Revoice as far as like um, timing and tuning at the same time. Um, I would rather just manually tune it, uh, but I've had pretty good success with Vocaline. Uh, great video, so you wouldn't manage, so you wouldn't believe how many things I've managed to get 50% off or even more. Exactly. There's a couple times for year, a year for sure you can get some deep discounts, but there's very few things where I'm like, yeah, just pay, pay full price for that. It, it's not to say it's not worth it, but there's usually discounts. So. I saw this easy river on the flow last time in winter. Oh, but this morning burns a Memphis summer glow. I'm coming back across. I always notice subtle graces. And the Mississippi River sets the tempo and the pace. I'm going and the pace. It's the tempo 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 and the pace. I'm going far away. 
I'm going far and far away. Oh, I'm going far away. It's always good to get away, but better still to come back home. Back home to blue. Uh, 50% off Melodyne is a great deal. Melodyne's one of those things that, like, if I could name five, like, including Pro Tools, uh, Melodyne's in the five things where I'm like, yeah, that's that's a must-have for me. If absence makes the heart grow fonder, I would reckon these little journeys do the These little journeys... These little journey, these little journeys do their parts to work for all of us. Cause when you leave the summer trips from green and dusty aspens, and then they shimmer golden when you come back in the fall. I'm going far away. I'm going far. Going far, 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 going far. That was fine, actually. I'll just undo what I was doing. There. Far away, it's always good to get away. But better still to come back home. Back home to blue. Many rows of corn blow on the downside of the blue hill. I think it's always been this way, and I guess it always will. All right, overall, that sounded pretty good. So same thing. We can just inactivate those. We can hit uh, Shift Option C. And, yep, select tracks. I was wondering if there was a way you can just make a new playlist and it would overlap. That, or, no. Sometimes you learn something new every day. So just having a quick look there. So that was pretty quick going through that. I think it was t 10 minutes, 15 minutes going through that one. Um, so those are the two longest tracks there. It's not out of the question to spend an hour just on vocals. Again, just for me, I'll go through and just get rid of those. I will go up over here. I will duplicate this playlist. I'll call that .ct, so that's the comped and tuned. I'll cut that one, command X. Yeah, paste command V. Make those all active again. We'll get rid of that track. All right, so we're we're moving along here. I'm gonna just solo that lead and then I'll I'll unsolo this um this harmony here. We'll just kind of dust over Super these glow. as well. I'm coming back across, I always notice great. Coming back across, I always notice. Uh, One second. Cross, I, I had a question from a student uh, uh, this week talking about glass and vocal booths. I think that's what we're hearing because it was like sometimes you'll hear the reflection off the glass or the, the kind of this tubby tonality of the glass that's there. Back across, I always notice subtle graces. Graces. That might be what that is. It jumped out at me. Is it going to make the song better or worse? It's not going to make it worse. But it's in the recording. So that's all I was trying to point out there. I always notice. I always notice. Just highlight all that stuff. Just a little double tap here. Pro Tools. There we go. I always Glow. I'm coming back across. 
I'm coming back. I'm coming back across the aisle. I'm back. I'm coming back. I'm coming back across the aisle. Always back across the aisle. Always notice. Cross I always notice subtle graces, subtle graces, subtle graces. No, that's wrong. Subtle graces, notice subtle graces, subtle graces, subtle graces, subtle graces. In the Mississippi, in the Mississippi, in the Mississippi River, in the Mississippi River. The Mississippi River, sets the Mississippi River, the Mississippi River sets the tempo and the pace. I'm going for the pace. I'm going for and the pace. The tempo and the pace. I'm going for, for, going for, for, for. So I'll through that little chunk there. Love us. Just two, okay. When you leave the summer drift, you leave the summer. When you leave the summer, when you leave the summer drift, you leave the summer drips from green and dusty. Drips from leave the summer drips from green and dusty aspens and dusty as green and dusty as from green and dusty. From green and dusty as from green and dusty as green and dusty aspens, and then they shimmer golden wind, they shimmer golden wind, they shimmer golden wind, and they shimmer golden wind, they shimmer golden wind, they shimmer, and then they shimmer golden wind, they shimmer golden when you come back in the fall. Come back in the fall. Come back in. The Not really sure what's happening down there. They shimmer golden when you come back in the fall. Come back in the fall. Just roll with it. It'll be fine. Come back in the fall. Come back in the fall. I'm going in the fall. Come back in the fall. Come back in the fall. I'm going far. Pulling that a lot. Far away, I'm going far away. I'm going far away. Far away. Far away. Far away. Far away. Far away. Oh, I'm going Stuff like that, Melodyne could make it a lot easier for timing because it does pull it quite a bit. Back to unison. Good to get away. 
not always the favorite choice. Um, I think overall it's probably going to sound pretty good. What I'm going to do is bring up the other the other uh, harmony that's there, and I'll just kind of dust over that one too with the lead there as well. Glow. Let's get this ready here. There we go. Glow. I'm coming back. I'm coming back across. I'm coming back across. I always know. Now I'm really. Now I'm really hearing what's probably the glass in the vocal booth. Back across, I always back across. I always notice subtle graces in the Mississippi River. In the Mississippi. In the Mississippi. In the Mississippi River sets the tempo and the pace. I'm going We're just listening for anything that's jumping out. I'm not going to lose much sleep over this. I'm going far away. Far away. Far away. Oh, I'm going far away. It's always good. Pretty good. Love us. Because when you leave. Because when you leave. A little bit of funkiness Cause going on here. Love us. Cause when you leave this Cause when you leave us Cause when you leave this Cause when you leave the summer drips from green and dusty ass from green and summer drips from green and summer drips from green and dusty drips from green and summer drips from green and dusty Drips from green and dusty drips from green and dimmer drips from green and dusty ass green and dust drips from green and dimmer drips from green and dimmer drips from green and dimmer drips little timing thing here because when you leave the summer drips from green and dust drips from green summer drips from green and dust Drips from green and dusty drips from better. green and dusty drips from 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 green and dusty green and dust drips from green and dusty drips from green and dusty green and dusty green and dusty drips from green and dusty Drips from green, the summer drips from green and dusty aspens, and then they shimmer golden when you shimmer golden when you come back in, when you come back in the fall, come back in, when you come back in the fall, you come back in, when you come back in the fall, I'm going far. I'm going far and far away. Far, far away. Oh, I'm going far away. It's always good to get away. Get away. Get away. Thought I heard like a cell phone or something, but I think it's just the bleed from the headphones. Um, it's good to get away. All right. So that should be pretty good. Same thing here. I'm going to just select both of those and open that up. So I'm going to make all those inactive. Now we can select the tracks. We're just committing the Melodyne that's there. Let's let it chew through those. Should give us two tracks. There's our two tracks, and I'll just do this for my life and yours. Um, make or duplicate those. Rename those. Dot ct for comped and timed. I will cut both of those. Command X and paste those over. So we are getting there. We've almost tuned this entire song. 
Again, I would normally listen through that again just for time's sake. We can we can accept those are probably good. Um, we'll go to the next one here. Um, because we have other harmonies, I'll bring our lead. I'll bring our first harmony. Actually, I can make these inactive. Say it again, as always. Um, but I'll just bring another harmony into here. Going far away. I'm going far away. So going be pretty quick. Far away. Far away. Far away. Far away. I'm going far. Big scoop. Sounds pretty good. Next one. One thing I would mention is I've dealt with it several times. It's the idea of like, don't be the lead if you're singing backgrounds, which sounds like it's pretty obvious, but um, match their inflections or kind of remove some of that stuff. When you have too many people trying to put too much vibe and soul and stank all over the vocals, it just, it makes it pretty confusing, at least on my end. So if you're singing backgrounds, support the lead. Like we don't need that giant scoop. Okay, those three sound pretty good. Let's get the other one in here. So let's bring that level up. Going far away, far away, far away, far away. There we go. So same thing, we'll just commit those tracks. I'm assuming they sound good. I'm assuming that all works. We'll be dusted through it. So uh, shift option C to commit those tracks, put the tracks underneath, we'll put those over top of the playlist on our vocals, and then we should have our prepped vocals here. If everything is well in Pro Tools. 
There we go. Okay, I'm going to highlight those, duplicate those. I just duplicate instead of saying new. Um, that way I can kind of see what's there just in case. Doesn't matter. That capital C is going to bother me. And we'll just cut and move those up. There we go. Delete those tracks. And there's lots of different ways of tuning vocals. This, this is how I've been doing it. I um, find it helps my, my workflow doing stuff this way. And again, I do most of my tuning in like, especially if there's three or five songs, um, just do them all in one day. Because then you can just, you know, quietly sob yourself to sleep and then wake up the next day and magically all your vocals are good. So we just tuned all those vocals that are there. Um, where do you want to go? So let's have a listen here. Let's have a little bit of a listen to where things are sitting. I chase the shadows of this truck on humid highways. I'm going to turn our groups back on here for vocals as well. Me bows in ever westward glow. Turn our effects back on just so we have them. I think it's always been this way, and I guess it always will. Chase the shadows of this truck on humid highways. Like to me, the sun behind me bows track just sounds more confident now. The vocal was good though. The many rows of corn blur on the downside of the blue hill. I think it's always been this way, and I guess it always will. We turned off our. Just in a little bit of balancing, not too much. Easy river flow last time in winter. Oh, but this morning burns a Memphis summer glow. I'm coming back across, I always notice subtle graces. And the Mississippi River sets the tempo and the pace. I'm going far. So, two rock toms, four tom, I think. Bring our reverbs over. I can just hold Option and drag them over. All right. Well, this is sounding better to me. All right. Vocals sound pretty good. So, of course, we'll just mute our vocals for now. Um, mute our acoustics. Mute all our guitars. We just have groups on all this stuff. I just want to kind of do some... Uh, balancing while we're here. So I'm going to hop out of my headphones for a minute and just listen to a couple things on my speakers because I don't have a whole lot of trust for some of this stuff. That's my mini speaker turning on. It talks to you when it says that it's... It says welcome, actually. It's very polite. Uh, give me a second. I'm just going to listen to speakers for a little bit. And mute my microphone just so it's not all phasey and crazy.
See, Joe is joining us on YouTube. It says, nice snare snap there. Thank you. Still trying to figure that one out.
Okay, taking a minute here. Um, Joyce and uh, good to see you doing these. Thank you for sharing your time wisdom with us. It's it's for me as well, but you're welcome. I I feel like the class the just rambling on. I uh, seem to enjoy some of these uh, the mix sessions where they could kind of see what I was doing, what I was thinking. Again, there's lots of different ways to approach these. This is just how I'm approaching right now. Uh, Joyce, I'm realizing how much I miss Saturday classes with... Oh, I appreciate it, Joy. I, it was fun. It, as much as we like being in class, um, as much as we like being in class, everybody being in class, um, this is one of the upsides I think we had from doing classes online or hybrid. The idea where it encouraged me and a lot of other people to kind of start live streaming some of this stuff or just recording it and, and passing it out. So that's why I'm doing this as well. Cause there was some, there was still some uh, requests from the class with some of these sessions. Um, and this was one of the songs actually. And I'm like, Oh, there's some really good teachable stuff in here that we could look at. So glad you're here. And I'm glad that hopefully uh, for a long time to come that these resources will be available for people as education and entertainment. Uh, Cause we, this we got to laugh through some of the stuff that we're dealing with here but um as far as what i, what I was doing there i'm still trying to kind of get a drum sound together um when you have samples in it can be pretty obvious sometimes and the way that the drums are recorded um like again you can't change the sounds of the recorded part you can't change how they were played necessarily so when i'm grabbing samples here i just want to augment the sound that's there i just wanted a little bit more body from the snare drum so this is I'm just going to drop it in here. So that's our snare drum. Sounds weird. One second. There we go. Um, so it's kind of hit in the middle of the drum. I'm a big fan of using the rim shots all the time, but also like a kind of more muted snare drum, I think would have would have been good here. Um, so with the sample, just to get a little bit of the meat, I'm still messing around with the whole envelope of this as well. So I want it to be timed with the song, but I don't want it to be overpowering. I'll buy that. Also, I'm still fighting with the room sounds, like the overheads and stuff. There's still some ring in that snare drum, too. There we go. A kind of boingy ringiness that's there. I'll just EQ that out. Not the prettiest looking thing, but it works. Sounds okay. I'm just gonna hop out for a second. Oh, the other thing I was doing, I was just trying to get my balance over here. So I just wanna kinda tap this compressor over here just a tiny bit. So we kinda use that just almost like a speed check thing. Uh, more just for levels. I just try to keep my kick drum around minus six or minus 10, just kinda in that ballpark. And we were really low before there, so. And again, I'm not bringing over any of my templated stuff, I've, but presets are fair game. Presets, don't ignore them. Um, and whatever's going on with the snare drum aggressive on the uh, stock Pro Tools channel strip, I just turn off the EQ and then I just use that and kind of mess around with it. I don't overthink some of this stuff. I know some people will, they'll like meditate for an hour before they attempt the idea 
of considering messing with the attack and release of a compressor. I am not one of those people. I'll click around on presets. Like, oh, that sounds better. Let's get on with life. Um, we can mess, definitely mess up a mix if um, if the compressor is kind of pumping and breathing and doing some weird stuff. But um, you'd be surprised at how heavily compressed a lot of uh, modern mixes are. So don't shy away from that. Don't shy away from uh, compression and presets. Don't shy away from using limiters at times just to park things. It's okay for, for what we're doing right now. Just to reel in some sounds. I'm going to hop back out of the speaker or the headphones for a second um, and just have another quick listen. We'll see where we're at.
and far away. It's always good to get away. But better still to come back home. Back home to blue. pace I'm going far away I'm going far away oh I'm going far away it's always good to get away but better still to come back home back home to Absence makes the heart grow fonder, I would reckon. These little journeys do their parts to work for all of us. Cause when you leave the summer to trips from green and dusty aspens, the meditation of a golden ring could come back in the fall. The moment far away. I'm going far away. Oh, I'm going far. Joy, you got to head out. Thanks for stopping by. Definitely catch the rest later. Sounds good. I'll probably be finishing up soon here as well. It'll be part three. We'll need fresh ears on this stuff. Um, while I'm thinking of it, she probably a good place to to yeah to end soon here. Um, but what I was working on just the the two bus here. Just working on that. I think there's some noise here. 
can turn that off. We don't need that. Um, just the two bus stuff. So I threw an EQ on there. I haven't done anything with that yet. Um, put that, uh, it's just a tape sim on there. I've messed around with this on a few mixes. I like it. It just seems to do something. And uh, yeah, and then center just to kind of widen things a little bit. It's kind of my setting there. I did bring, saved it on some other sessions. It just seems to work on a bunch of stuff. So uh, there was that. And the other main thing I th think I did, um, I was here, uh, was the, just adding a pull tech just to add some air to the drums. I still feel like the drums were a little bit under a blanket with everything. So just trying to bring out that without going to my main mix bus and cranking some of the higher end uh, frequencies on that. But um, yeah, I think that was the main thing. I'm still just fussing with the balance overall. Um, but be tuning the vocals today, we can get the vocals nice and loud. So messing around a little bit more with that lustrous plate uh, reverb. Uh, we'll mess around a little bit more with that next time, I think. But um, yeah, overall, like we didn't get to everything on the list that we put on here today. But it, again, you can spend an hour or a bit just working on your, your vocals. So it's going to have another little bit of a listen here. I've been listening kind of loud over here again. So that, that's one of those things I need to take a break from that as well. So I'm just going to go from the top and just have a listen, just nudge a few things around. So I've been listening on my NS10 and also listening on my little USB speaker here as well. So let's listen from the top. Be right back. One more thing that I remember when we got there, I just muted the snare track where the cross stick comes in just to try that because I didn't want the sound because it was the way the EQ was, was on was on that snare drum. That cross stick was crazy loud. So one thing we can do is we can just mute it. If that's not working, I would duplicate this track, change the EQ on it just to make it easier for, for me. Duplicate the track, copy down that section, change the EQ on it, and then um, and then we can carry on with our normal snare sound. I just wanted to hop in there and mention that. I chase the shadows of this truck on human highways. The morning sun behind me bows in ever westward flow.
absence makes the heart grow fonder I would reckon these little journeys do their parts to work for all of us cause when you Chase the shadows of this truck on humid highways. The morning sun behind me bows in ever westward flow. The many rows of corn blur on the downside of the blue hill. I think it's always been this way, and I guess it always will. Since makes the heart grow fonder, I would reckon these little journeys. Okay. So there's some some there's still some rebalancing I'm gonna keep fussing with. But I'm liking how the vocals are, are sounding overall. I was just listening because it's like I want to put samples on those toms just to bring them out a little bit. There's just there's always there's always trade offs. It's like if I push up the uh, symbols a little bit. Then I get this kind of weird roomy thing going on. Well, not room thing going on with the snare, but this does something to the snare drum. And there's other times I'm like, okay, the kit overall feels pretty balanced to me. And then I'll nudge one thing and then it'll throw the whole balance off, which is normal. Um, but again, I'm not afraid of rebalancing constantly. And that's why I just make groups for all of um, all of the kind of instrumental, excuse me, families we have here. So I can quickly just mute everything and then rebalance stuff. But I'm liking the lead vocal. I'm liking things overall. It's just finding that overall balance and keep nudging stuff around. Also, when you add uh, some, especially some saturation and, and a few other things on the uh, the master bus here, the main bus, that's going to shift the overall balance as well. So I think it's probably a good place to, to leave off here. It's gonna... And again, fresh ears 
fresh ears are going to help as well. Um, that's the other part of it. So, but I think we, we definitely covered some ground today. I meant to spend two hours and then before you know it, before you know it, uh, two and a half hours can go by pretty quick. So. Just make your vocals sound good, nice and loud. Especially when you have great lyrics, then you can hear them. All right, I think that's that's sounding decent. Um, as far as my list, the master list here, we prepped the vocals, we did that. DS, or I haven't added that yet. Um, still working on snare sound, trigger the toms. We'll figure that out next time. Bass sound, it's it's sounding good in like when I listen on the speakers, but I listen on the little USB, I'll lose some of the definition, so I gotta figure that one out if you want to keep nudging around. Um, one of the things too, kick drum, bass guitar, or bass guitar, kick drum, pick one that's kind of kind of be in charge. But I like the wooliness off of the kick drum, so I think I'm gonna do a better or try and do a better job putting the the bass guitar above the uh, the kick drum so we can keep that wooliness of it that boofiness of it uh we'll address the guitar solos next time vocal throw we'll address that next time drum fill some ironing out of the drum stuff to address next time and i have my two minutes 10 seconds um time stamp for the vocal edit there's like a breath or something that's weird in there let's just do that now so if it's going to take 30 seconds just go ahead and do it okay where are we That, that in there. Do you hear it in the track? Not sure. But well, we can go in there. Just that that sound. We can just highlight that and we'll just fade that one in, fade that one out. And we look, we can see it down there too. So let's just be proactive and we'll just get rid of both of those. There we go. We can cross that off the list now. So I don't need to try to remember on Monday. I'm going to cross that off the list so we can not remember that on Monday. And then the vocals are good. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll do a little bit more, more balancing next time. Just fresh ears. But it's sounding, I think it's sounding better now than it was when we started. But a big part of that, when you prep for vocals, it makes a big, big, big difference. Um, just kind of cleaning stuff up. And I'm, a, I'm again, I'm a believer, if you have vocals in your track, it's 51% of your overall track. So the idea where if you can get your vocals nice and loud, um, again, really listen to commercially viable music vocals are loud so the better the vocal and again the, the quality of the vocal we started with was pretty good um and i mean that is like i put it in seven out of ten um so we can just kind of like give it a little bit of a nudge because the emotion was there lyrics are there delivery is there we did very little moving uh, notes around uh time wise um i don't mean to say seven out of ten is like not great seven out of ten is pretty good because let's be honest sometimes we get some fours out of ten and they want it to be an eight out of ten you're like all right uh, we're gonna need a lot of. We're gonna need to dig deep in the modulation effects <laughs> to try to get something happening here. We're gonna need to do radio voice a whole lot to try to make this into a thing. So, um, last thing, always remember, do um, the save and backups here. Let's see if we can not crash Pro Tools. Um, Shift Command U, Shift Command B, remove anything that we don't need there. Still want to clear it? Yes, we do. Hopefully, this holds on here been so steady for the last two and a half hours pro tools so uh we're working at 44 1 24 bit all audio files so we can bring everything over i'm gonna hit okay we got a temp backup here i usually just say dot or capital bu for backup and save a full backup because only takes a second and and we're done so it's well not done done but it's just it just saves a full backup there and i think it um it's the safer way to work Again, putting stuff on separate separate drives is always good. I don't have my main backup drive plugged in right now. So I try to just keep two drives plugged in on, on Pro Tools. Or on this on the M1 Mac Mini. For some reason it has hiccups sometimes when uh has hiccups sometimes like we saw earlier, where it's just like, I'm just gonna shut down. We just we need a full full stop, full reset of what's going on. Um, thanks everyone for, for hanging out in the chat here. Um, I know it's not the most exciting thing, uh, working on vocals for an hour and a half, but part of 
these live streams is letting some musicians, because there's a lot of self-produced musicians who are mixing their own music and they're missing some of these production techniques and just things that we should be kind of working on. If we're trying to be competitive with what's on the market, these are all normal things that we do. We do prep our vocals and stuff. So when you're seeing someone who's prepped a lot of vocals and still takes, you know, an hour or two to go through stuff, don't feel like you're slow. Just try to do it best you can. Um, and if this helped you, fantastic. Um, but just know there's a lot of prep that goes in. You sing your song. It doesn't mean it's kind of ready to go unless that's your genre and that's what you do. But for the most part, we're usually still comping our vocals, prepping them, which is tuning and timing in my world. And we kind of go from there. That can be a full day for your song if you're working on it, especially if you're working on your music part time. You know, evenings and weekends, be mindful of that. Take that into consideration how much time you have to work on those those pieces as well. Also, consider subbing some of that work out. Um, there's a, definitely lots of people that can do these things. This is not a shameless plug. This is just letting you know, sometimes you can bring people onto your team and they can do these pieces and then send them back to you. And then it's magically done. So be mindful of that as well. So I have a couple of people that I use to help me with vocal stuff because they're great at it and it helps see me all the time. So um, that that's something to keep in mind. Teams are good. Teams are good because there's a lot of work you can do by yourself. Um, all right, I'll quit rambling on here. I'm back here on Monday at 7 p.m. We'll probably do more mixy stuff. We're going to look at those toms and the drums. I think we can get in there and, and grab those. But I am looking forward to the future of listening to this with fresh ears because I feel like we, we've we made some, some headway today, especially with the vocal prep. So, again, thanks for hanging out here. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, just remember to, to like and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Oh, I forgot to mention where we got these tracks from. These tracks, there's a site called Cambridge Music Technology. Link is below in if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, there's a fantastic resource there for multi-track recordings for people to practice on. It's a fantastic resource if you're new to mixing or you're just looking stuff, looking for things to use as educational resources. That's what I'm there for. Um, but also if you're an engineer, I do recommend downloading some of these multi-tracks and just having excuse me, having a listen through um, some of the tracking because you'll hear stuff where you're like, wow, that was a four and they took it up to a nine. And there's other things you're like, that's a seven and they took it to an eight. Uh, you never know what you're getting to work with. So um, fantastic resource. Again, link is below in um, uh, the replay on YouTube in the description. Uh, again, that's where I found this, this song. The artist, the group is called The Long Wait. The song's called Back Home to Blue. Again, kind of alt rock, uh, folk rock, well, old country folk rock, I guess. Um, but I, I love the vocal on it and I loved the lyrics on this one. So I did want to work on this stuff. All right. I think that's my time. Again, this is Let's Mix Live where we're exploring some mix sessions. And again, not what you should do, but what you could do. My name is Mike Langford. I'm an engineer, producer, mixer based in Toronto. I will see Toronto, Canada. I will see everybody on Monday. Have a good rest of your week and have a safe weekend. Talk to you later.